Is your boss blocking your career? You want career progression, promotion, right role and responsibility or right type of work which can propel your career but you feel stuck. You have performed well, received good feedback, got decent high but still you are not moving upwards. Whenever you take up this subject with your manager, with a smile, they start to dangle a carrot. They will cite some vague improvement areas which you have to work upon or give reasons like company directive, HR guideline or financial constraint in order to buy time. You start to feel frustrated and think about changing the job but you stop because you think it is better to take a promotion in this company itself so that in future if you really want to make a change it will be better from the compensation and from the role and responsibility perspective. Frustration is started to build up and you feel you are at the mercy of your boss. So watch my video until the end where I am going to share 5 tips to overcome this problem and if you have not already liked, shared and subscribed to my channel which is having more than 150 videos then please do it. Also watch my other popular video how to navigate office politics. Also I have released a custom chat GPT named Utkarsh Rai career and leadership tips all levels where you can ask any work related challenges from my digital twin. First pick the right battle when your thought process is that your boss is blocking your career then any action any word or any behavior of your boss you will see it in a negative way you will not be very happy interacting with your boss and you will start feeling much more frustrated you will overthink the situation that why you landed up in this situation and because of which it is started to cloud your thinking so first thing which you need to understand is you need to understand what is really important for you in the workplace lot of things are happening you need to first sit down and understand what is vital for you and what are the things which are irritant because with this mindset that your boss is blocking your career you will see everything as a major issue as a big issue and that will label you as a complainer your manager will think that this person is always unhappy always complaining always irritable and start to spread negativity inside the team so first you need to pick the right battle what are the things which are important for your career progression you need to identify it and act only on those issues rather than there are other lot of irritants which you need to ignore it how are you going to identify which issue is important for you how are you going to pick the right battle you need to ask some good questions say for example no at this stage of my life at this stage of my career i want to earn much more money or I want to have a better designation or I want to have a better responsibility so that I can challenge myself or I want to have a better sphere of influence or I want to build my own reputation, my own brand. There could be many of such things which you need to ask and then see what is more important for you at this stage of the career. Once you know that this is the right issue, this is the battle which you need to fight it, then you need to go to the next step. Second. Build good relationship with your manager's peer and with your manager's boss. It is very important that you build these type of relationship because if your boss is blocking you, these relationships always come handy. In my third book, Faster, Smarter, Higher, Managing Your Career, one chapter deals about managing manager's peer and another chapter deals about managing manager's boss and then there are many other chapters. Why these two relationship is important is that if your boss is blocking your career, it is because they know that your visibility is restricted within the team. You are very good in interacting with junior people. Many of the people at the senior level outside the team at the manager's boss level, they don't know you that well. So even if your manager is obstructing your career movement, they will not be questioning your manager why you are doing this thing to this person. So it is very important that first you need to work upon increasing your visibility with your manager's boss. In the meetings, you must speak. Whenever you get any opportunity, make presentation. Whenever there is any town hall, ask intelligent question. Whenever there is any opportunity to lead any initiative, initiative or any such thing which is a pet project of your manager's boss that don't hesitate volunteer it and be part of it even if you have to work in addition to your current assigned work similarly managers peers play a very major role 
If you are very good with manager's peer, it acts as a detonant. Your manager will always think that this person is very close to my peer and whether this person is going to reveal some of the secret which is there within the team to the peer and that will travel to manager's boss. You should not do it, but having such a good relationship always act as a deterrent and for that you need to volunteer cross-functional assignments so that you can interact with your manager's peer team and get an opportunity to build a relationship with your manager's peer. I am going to tell you that twice in my career, manager's peer helped me to propel my career further. What happened is, in both the time, there was a meeting called by my manager's boss where my manager and all their peers were sitting. They were prestigious program which need to be led. Then my manager has taken someone else name that that person will be good to lead the program. And as it was cross-functional, manager's peer also had a say. But most of the manager's peer said, no, Utkarsh is the right person. And with that, I got the opportunity. And that proved to be a turning point in my career. So it is very important for you to understand that manager's peers and manager's boss play a very important role in your career progression and you must build that relationship. Third tip is have internal mentors and external mentors. Yes, it is very important that you should have your own support system in the organization, whether you are at a junior level, at a mid level or at a senior level, you need to have a support system. Even an external facilitator, just like who is conducting teaming exercises or offsite exercises or any other type of offsite sessions, these external facilitators are also very helpful for your career progression. Let me share my own interesting story. Once an offsite was called where my manager's boss my manager's peer and all their team members including me and many other of people at my career level was there. It was a couple of days workshop and we were going through a lot of exercises. That external facilitator was very sharp. He was observing each and every participant knowing their strengths and weaknesses, knowing their skills and then once there was a break called and we all went out and while coming back I could overhear that external facilitator was telling my boss and my boss boss why are you blocking Utkarsh? He has such a great skills. You need to provide a faster career progression for him. A few months later, my boss and my boss boss did provide me a better role and responsibility and a better opportunity. So never miss such opportunities where you have to interact with external people. Try to learn from them and also try to make it very clear what are your strengths are there and how you can propel your career. Internal mentors, you must have someone who are a couple of career levels above you because they will be knowing company dynamics. They will also be knowing about your manager and they will be also telling you what is happening in the organization. Many times because of your bias thinking that your manager is blocking your career, you don't see the full picture. At times managers are not at fault. It is really an organization structure. It is really an organization situation which is causing it. Once you know from internal mentors, that these type of situations are prevailing, you will be much more peace and calm and that is also going to help you to choose the right battle. Similarly with external mentor, you should have multiple external mentors who can tell about industry, tell about what type of skills are available, what type of growth opportunities are there, where the things are going well, where the things are not going well, so that you can position yourself well within the organization in case if you really want to make a change. So external and internal mentors really help you is identifying the right battle which I talked about in the point number one. Fourth tip is now you should have an honest one-to-one -one conversation with your manager because now you know which battle you need to pick. Now you have a good relationship, you have a lot of industry data and you have a lot of insight. Now this one-to-one -one is for career conversation and don't start discussing about your project, about dependency, about risk, about teaming or so. Once you go to your manager, you always go with three options because you want to feel that you want to move up. It may happen that the first option which you are going to give, it may not be possible with your manager in the next six months, one year or even in two years. So in that case, if you see that it is not in manager's hand, then you can go for the second option and then you can go for the third option. Say for example, you want promotion and manager may not give you any promise or a guarantee. Then you can say, okay, can I take up this additional role where I will have a bigger sphere of influence? 
or C, can I take up this specific project within the team and in addition to working with other team so that I can going to gain some more skills in that area where you're looking for a promotion. So always give some more options, some more suggestion to your manager so that you can feel that you are moving up and you can help your manager also to get the things done for you. Also at times manager are going to give you again some vague improvement area in your mind but take it seriously and come with a quarterly basis tracking plan that okay this is the issue which I will work and this is the result which I am going to show or this is what I have worked and I am showing and have such discussion on a quarterly basis. After a few quarters your manager will start taking you seriously and they will certainly work for your career upward movement. Fifth tip you must have right attitude and behavior. Many a times highly intelligent, highly qualified, highly productive people are not growing up in their career because of their behavior, because of their attitude. Sometimes managers feel that this person is inciting within the team, is not a good team player, bad mouthing against me and all those things go against you. So you must introspect about your behavior, about your attitude and you must have received signals and feedbacks around it. You work on it. It will take few months and a year when people will start seeing a shift in your behavior and shift in your attitude. Because as you grow further, these soft skills like behavior, attitude and teaming and all other things are going to play a major role than your domain skill because they know that by now your domain skills are good enough for that role. So in order to avoid getting blocked by your manager, you must work on your behavior and attitude. So professionals, you have seen these five tips will help you to overcome if your boss is blocking your career. I hope you like this video, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.